Welcome back to my channel, Divine Timeless Cosmic Tarot. If this is your first time coming across the platform, welcome. I hope you come in with your discernment, your intuition. Take things as they resonate and what does not apply, let it fly. If you're returning back to the platform, then guess what? Most of you are my beautiful soul tribe family and I love you so very much. I'm so glad that you are here with me and I am here with you. Mikasa es su casa. Come on in, Soul Tribe. Listen. Soul Tribe. <laughs> Soul Tribe. Love it. Soul Tribe. Come on in. Soul Tribe. Let's get right on to it. Listen, I call upon the highest of white lights. Please put a shield of protection around me. Any negative energy, nasty projections, mirror magic, beauty spells can go to hell with the people that are trying to cast those dark ass spells. So shall it be. That is a prayer. That is an intention. That is a wish. And so it is. I know the universe is supporting all of us in our energy because my nose is itching already. Baby, what is the current energy, beautiful universe? Pisces, hi Pisces. Something's real significant about a Pisces. Somebody could be from Texas, Massachusetts, okay? North Dakota, Pennsylvania. Yeah, Pisces. Why is Pisces here? Clarify Pisces, why is that here? What is the Pisces here for? Rent, bills, responsibility, pain, shelter. Okay, so somebody's in a financial crunch, okay? It could be a Pisces. Maybe somebody's going to reach out to you and need your help. Clarify Pisces and rent and bills due. Legal investigation, local federal authorities, detective, background check, private IN or attorney. So somebody could need an attorney about a living situation, okay? Rent, bills, responsibility, paying for shelter, I don't know if, the, and then at the bottom of this deck, it says lease agreement, apartment, signature. So somebody could be going through some type of financial problems, okay? Some type of financial restraints, I just heard. Somebody could need to seek a legal aid. What is this about? Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I just smudged these cards. I just... Uh, you know, cleanse them, shuffle them, prayed over them. So these cards are dedicated to the creator of all things. They already know that they got to tell us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I was not intending to do a reading, but uh, Pisces, why is this significant? Somebody needs your help. Somebody needs somebody's help. Yeah, somebody needs to get some type of information. Five of Pentacles. Uh, legal investigation. Somebody could be getting some type of an eviction notice. What is this about? Five of Pentacles, the moon. Somebody could be hiding the fact that they're going through something financially. Okay? It could be a Pisces or you're a Pisces or somebody around you or something. Who is this Pisces spirit? What's the significance of this Pisces? Who is this person? The devil and the ten of cups. Mm. Ten of Cups. This could be somebody in your family, okay? But something about a housing situation it could be a family. A family of three, a mother, a father, a child, or a mother and two children is what I just heard with the Ten of Cups. The devil, okay? Something about money, something about desires. Clarify the devil, the Pisces energy. Yeah, somebody's in heavy regret. Whoever this Pisces is, okay, they're really going through it. Clarify this Pisces. Who is this person? Mm, King of Wands in the reverse. Ooh, show. Pisces. Somebody's birthday's in March. I just heard March 9th, March 12th. 
beginning of March, March 6th, something, March, okay? With Aries energy, somebody's very controlling. Somebody's very, very controlling, very dominating, okay? This person could be living from pillar to pose. They're trying to get into somebody's good graces, a queen of wands energy, four of pentacles. They're saving their money or holding on to their money. Somebody doesn't want to take responsibility for paying their bills. What the hell is going on here? What's going on, spirit? Trying to find a way out, I just heard. Yeah, they're in this king of swords energy. Somebody's sitting back uh, planning. King of swords is very intelligent. Very controlled, you know, very methodical, very systematic, making a plan, sticking to the plan, seeing it through, head over heart. Somebody's removing their emotions in order to take a leap of faith on something that's going to benefit them. Who is this Pisces energy? Rent, bills, responsibility, legal investigation. Yeah, somebody's going where the money is. Ace of Pentacles, something about a new beginning. Okay, so Spirit is saying to be mindful of somebody that wants to outsmart you. Show me Pisces energy. Somebody wants to dominate you. Three of Wands, okay? Big Aries energy. Absolutely, your birthday is in March, okay? Wherever you are, something about you traveling, going the distance. You could be thinking of collaborating with somebody else. Who is this King of Swords? Who is this King of Swords? Seven of Wands. Somebody that you need to stand your ground with. Seven of Wands represents ancestral divine intervention, but somebody that you need to stand your ground with and protect yourself from. Who's this King of Wands in the reverse? Nine of Cups. It's a Pisces. Mm-hmm. What's going on with this King of Wands in the reverse, though? King of Wands in the reverse is reckless, controlling, manipulative, dominating, very narcissistic energy. Why is this person in the, in the reverse? Whatever this is, they're determined to get some type of wish fulfillment. Out of an empress, somebody that's stable, caring, loving, kind. I feel like somebody is specifically thinking to move in fast. Knight of Swords energy, like a swift moving action. Why is the Three of Wands there? Somebody could be finding themselves having to leave a certain area. Okay, with the Eight of Cups, big Pisces energy. Three of Wands and the Eight of Cups is big March Pisces. I'm getting Aries, Aries and Pisces, fire and water. Where are you going, Pisces? What's going on, Pisces? Something about responsibilities. Something about the truth, okay? Spirit says, what I'm saying is the truth. What's going on? Where are you going, Pisces? Eight of Cups, Three of Wands. Yeah, something about, oh, God. Okay, so Three of Swords is representing heartbreak, heartache, possibly some type of separation. This could have been a family dynamic, okay? Who is this person? I feel like whoever this, who is this King of Wands in the reverse though? Two of Cups. Somebody that wants to give you a partnership. This person feels as though you're desperate, okay? Be mindful. They're, they're looking at, it's almost like uh, making a deal with the devil. That's what I'm getting. Somebody has resources, okay? They could know that you need them. I just heard between a rock and a hard place from pillar to post. Four of Swords in the Reverse. Four of Swords in the Reverse is about exhaustion. Tired. What's with the legal investigation? Something legal could be going on? With the, li with the living dynamic, excuse me. Clarify the Four of Swords in the Reverse. What's going on, Spirit? Yeah, Five of Pentacles in the Reverse. I just heard all deals are not good deals. All that glitters is not gold. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody could come along maybe to try to offer you something. You got somebody leaving one dynamic, one uh, family dynamic to go towards somebody who's stable. Whoever this King of Wands in the reverse is a March Pisces. And they're trying to plot and plan their next move with the Three of Wands. They're trying to see, I just heard checking all of the eggs in their basket. Like running through their list of people that they feel they could go towards, okay? This is, this is somebody planning. This person's got addictions too. 
This is about money for them. This is about stability. Somebody's a shyster. Somebody's very miserly. Okay, they're a miser energy. Three of Wands and the Eight of Cups. This is a March Pisces masculine. This person's coming up as a King of Swords. Clarify the King of Swords. Or this is you. Yeah, this is you. This is you. Okay. So whoever this Pisces is, child, that Pisces need to be in the reverse. I'm going to let that sign sit there in the upright. But whoever they are, it's a hell to the no. Something about you is, is, is very stable. Ten of Pentacles, you're in this Empress energy. Somebody specifically seeks out stable women. Okay, they've already left some type of family dynamic. Okay, there's a legal investigation, something that they're in trouble with. This person could have some type of criminal history or record or something. King of Wands in the reverse is a manipulator. This person's got addictions. Okay, they could be smoking a whole lot more than just weed, is what I just heard. It's more than cannabis, honey. Ten of Cups, they've already left some type of family dynamic, left somebody behind. They could have had a child with somebody. This could be a mother, a father, a child. Whatever it was, it was a family dynamic. Now they're trying to see where their next lick is going to be. This is what I just heard. It's getting cold out there, you know. We're going into fall and now winter after that, you know, God willing. And somebody's trying to decide. Yeah, they're on the move. Three of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Somebody's on the move, honey. The Hierophant. Somebody sees you as very stable. You could be a Taurus. Don't necessarily have to be. But somebody is stable. Somebody is stable, honey. Ten of Pentacles. You got your own. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody sees you as the bag. <laughs> Clarify this four of swords in the reverse and the five of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants you to take them out of the cold. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. The star. You got star quality. Something that you're doing is looking real good. Whatever this is. Listen, I would tread lightly. This is your confirmation. I don't feel as though you're dumb, though. I feel as though you just needed some type of clarification on this person. Temperance energy. You're coming up as an earth angel. You're very kind. You're loving. You're caring. Standing in your power. There is nothing weak about you. Okay? Show me this miser, this miserly shyster as energy. This person needs a place to stay, honey. Yeah, look. Mm-mm, mm-mm. The reason why they're on the move to a wands is because they got into some type of conflict. This could be domestic violence or something in a Ten of Cups energy. Some type of family dynamic. This person got into some type of conflict, could have got kicked out of a house, or maybe they just jumped ship and abandoned ship. I don't know. But whatever this is, this person got a whole nother side to them, honey. With the Seven of Wands, your ancestors are intervening on your behalf. Two of Wands, child, they need a place to stay. Ain't nobody got time for this. Whatever is going on is going to be exposed, but they're trying to come your way. <laughs> Clarify this person. Show me this miser. Somebody's in it for the money. They want to come up out of the cold. Yeah, this person's going back and forth, trying to figure out how the hell they can balance things out. Money is funny. They're balancing something out with the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles also represents thinking. Somebody's thinking, contemplating. Okay, with the Four of Swords in the reverse, somebody's restless. They could be drinking coffee all night or they staying up doing something that's got them up all night. Somebody's amped up. Somebody thinks that they're the cat's meow and the dog's bow wow and they'll be able to wiggle their way into your beautiful, stable, loving, empress, ten of pentacles life. Death. This person's got some type of blood on their hands. I don't know what this is. But they're trying to run from something and they're under investigation. This is not, this is something that they're not telling you. Okay. Also, something with a family dynamic where they had to walk away. Why is the Ten of Cups there? Why is that there? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody put in some bad work. Death and the Eight of Pentacles is somebody who did something. Five of five of what is this? Five of swords. Some type of conflict, some type of fight that could have ended and unfortunately resulted in somebody's demise with the Eight of Pentacles. This was bad work. Somebody put in some bad work. <laughs> Clarify what's going on, Holy Spirit. This person's on the run. They're trying to wiggle their... Yeah, I can't make this up. This person got into some type of fight, some type of conflict. And now they're thinking how they can get into your life, get into your 
your stable energy. This person's moving around a lot. There's a lot of movement here. Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Eight of Cups. Y'all, somebody is on the move. Clarify this person. What's going on, Spirit? Yeah, Spirit says, what I'm saying is the truth. They see you as somebody that they can start a new beginning with. I just heard a cover-up. You're a good cover. You're a good look. I bet the heck you are. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. This person could come in trying to offer you something. Okay? You know, give a little to get a lot. Clarify this person. Legal investigation. Yeah, Two of Swords. Look, they're trying to figure out which way they want to go. Somebody is on the move. Two of Swords. Three of Wands, Eight of Cups, Two of Wands. Child, somebody's on the move after some type of conflict. They're under investigation, though. Okay, clarify the Five of Wands, Death, and the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse with the Five of Swords. Yeah, this person is spazzing out, child. I just heard they hit a roadblock. Somebody hit a brick wall. They ain't got a plan. Nine of Swords, child, they are conflicted, losing their minds, spazzing out. Do not let this person cross your threshold. Show me this Empress, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups. It's somebody that's trying to come in and woo you. Yeah, you're real sharp, though. You ain't playing. You're coming up in the Queen of Swords energy. You're setting a boundary. You're too smart. You see this coming a mile away. You're like, nah, something ain't working. Something don't feel right here with the story that you're giving me, buddy. Mm-mm. Yeah, Queen of Swords energy. Queen of Swords is wise. She rules with an iron fist or an iron sword, baby, which is the sword of truth. She can see the truth. This is a head over heart decision. You're balancing. You're communicating the truth to yourself. Not only that, your spirit guides are standing here with the seven of wands. This ain't what somebody want. They're getting away from something that they did illegally that could have resulted in somebody's demise. They're under investigation and child, they're on the move. King of wands in the reverse. Clarify this king of wands in the reverse. The hangman, Piscean energy. Somebody's birthday's in March. Somebody's birthday's in March. Mm-hmm. Clarify this King of Swords. This is you. Or this is the way that they're presenting themselves. King of Cups. Hmm, interesting. Scorpio Pisces Cancer coming up as Pisces. Is it two Pisces here? Somebody's birthday could be in February. Somebody's birthday could be in March. Who is this King of Cups? Is this you? Is this the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine? The world. Somebody could be at a distance. I don't feel like this is somebody ending something. No, normally, the world represents a door closing, a cycle ending, something new beginning. You know, when another, one door closes, another one opens type of an energy. This is giving me travel. The world, like traveling across the world, a body of, wa of water, excuse me out of the country type of an energy child my candle is dancing across the room so there's definitely some spiritual activity here by way of what your spirit guides are telling you you're getting some type of synchronicities what's going on spirit what's this king of swords knight of cups yeah there's some somebody's an aquarius somebody could be an aquarius Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. What the hell is going on? It's a lot going on. This could be two different people in your energy too. Who is this King of Cups? Yeah, somebody that's like, okay, Leo energy. Show me the Nine of Swords, Five of Swords energy. Who is that person? Yeah, Nine of Swords. Somebody, somebody is trying to rush in. Nine of Swords energy. Whoever this person is, these are two different people. So you could have a choice between two. Is there a choice between two spirits? Yeah, there's a choice between two. I feel like whoever you are, this could have been a tough decision. But now that you're seeing whoever this weird-ass person is on the run from whatever they're trying to get away from, somebody's after them okay and somebody is running from pillar to post trying to figure out who the hell they're going to stay with how to get away they see you as stable they see you as a good look okay they're also leaving some type of family dynamic where shit went awry four swords in the reverse they're restless 
Five of Pentacles in the reverse, they're trying to come in from out of the cold. They're trying to recover financially and they see you as a come up. There's also somebody else in your energy. I think once you decided who was who, maybe at first you were like, God, how am I going to choose? And spirit revealed something to you because you're in the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Some type of weight has been lifted up off of you and your decision by way of being conflicted as to who is who and what is what and who's going where and when and why. Yeah, you got a real king of cups here, though. It's a victory, though. This could be just a friend. But in the meantime, you got Mr. What's-His-Name, Mr. King of Wands in the reverse trying to rush in. This person's under investigation. My nose is itching. I wouldn't let this person cross my threshold. Somebody is being watched. There's a detective. There's some type of background check going on. A private eye, spy, federal authority, something. Whatever this is, this person is moving fast, swift, quick. And they could have some type of addictions. I'm just getting like cocaine is a hell of a drug type of an energy. Like somebody is like, eh, like quick. They like doing lines of cocaine. They smoking it or they drinking Red Bulls with a combination. Like somebody is wired overthinking how can I come out of the cold okay I could go towards her okay I'm gonna go this way I don't know like this is what I'm getting somebody's like doing this all night and they look up and the sun has come up and they're like okay they're on the run two of wands show me this weirdo on the run yeah look I can't make this up nine of wands honey normally nine of wands is about protecting your energy no this is one wand away from ten nine of wands as in paranoid spazzing out whatever their own got them tweaking looking out the window walking back and forth all the lights on in the house type of an energy this is this person i'm not trying to be funny somebody could be not having somewhere to rest their head and they're running out of money they're trying to figure out how to recover with the five of pentacles in the reverse they want to come in from out of the cold but you see this person ten of wands in the reverse you're like no nah, i'm good you got a whole King of Cups here, King of Swords. Oh, that's definitely smart and that's protecting you. There's some type of uh, information coming in or some type of communication. Okay, you could be texting this person, communicating, Eight of Wands. Whoever this King of Swords is, yeah, this is a friend of yours. They're the Two of Cups. You got two people that want to offer you the Two of Cups. One is good, one is bad. Hell no, these people are not the same. Nine of Pentacles, whatever this union is, this King of Cups energy, it's absolutely a beautiful union. This is a friendship. Mm -hmm. This is nice. It's very calm, very mature. The King of Swords to the Queen of Swords, both of you are guarded in a good way, though. Yeah, two slow-moving energies, Nine of Pentacles, very independent by yourself. You're both in the Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? Not a codependent energy. And you got somebody over here that's trying to just, I don't know, they trying to run, honey. Somebody need a hot plate of food, a warm bed, <laughs> a hot meal, some soup, something, okay? But they need a whole lot more than that. Somebody needs to get a lawyer. Somebody's ass is going to jail, okay? I don't know what the hell they did, but something. They could be involved in something that they're just not telling you. Death is here, five of swords and the five of wands. Somebody could have been unalived, unfortunately. There's some type of something here that somebody's not telling somebody about. You're not weighed down about it. You've made a decision. So this is just confirmation. Clarify what's going on, spirit, rent, bills, responsibility. Yeah, this person is crazy. This is two lovers. I got two lovers and I ain't ashamed. Two lovers and I love them both the same. Listen, you don't love both these people the same. You could have been conflicted. I don't feel like you out here. You know, molly whopping around, scally wagging around. I feel like you're the empress. I feel like you're stable. I feel like you're to yourself. I feel like you're celibate. I feel like you're entertaining or you were two people that seem to be interested in you. And somebody's story is just not adding up. Somebody wants you to believe that three plus three is a thousand. And you're like, what? Your shit is not working out. It's just not adding up, bruh. It's a no. And you got divine intervention here. Yeah, you you're not fooling with that. No, no. You this this uh King of Swords to this King of Cups could be a long distance relationship. Okay. But it's good. It's slow moving, it's patient, it's peaceful. There's good communication. It's not too much. It's a good relationship. Child, clarify rent responsibility. Yeah. 
this other rent, Mr. Rent and Responsibilities, hell no, get your punk ass down somewhere. You got too much going on. You running from the authorities. You got rent and bills due, your family dynamic. You walking away from some, maybe a child's mother or some, whatever. They're desperate, okay? Seven of Swords and they're not sober, okay? Not by any means, okay? The devil to the four of cups is a whole bunch of depression and some type of addiction, okay? Drug use is what I heard. But you got the seven of swords. Yeah, this person is sneaky and deceptive. Nothing they say is true, Spirit says. I feel like you know this, Empress. Yeah, I can't make this up. You got divine intervention here. Ace of cups, life is good. You got the ace of pentacles. Whoever you are, you are beautiful. You're beautiful. This divine feminine is stable. You got a lot of earth and air in your chart, water. You are balanced. You're the empress. You're all of the. You're all of the queens. <laughs> Clarify the empress. Yeah, you're all the queens. You cleared your path. You understand who you are. You have access to your akashic records with the six of cups. Come through with the come through. You got some good lifetimes. Somebody's got good karma in all their lifetimes. Yeah, and you got good intuition. Yeah, the sun, your life is peaceful. You're happy. You got a lot of light around you. Life is good. You're stable. Yeah, this is beautiful. And you're not about to let somebody come in here, child. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You're being celebrated. Three of Cups. Clarify what's going on. And somebody wants to come in. Yeah, and you got somebody coming in. Equal give and take. Whoever this person is that's on the run, they could be coming in like, yeah, I'm coming in to give you this. No. What they're coming in to do is they're coming in to be a page, a child, a dependent, a problem that you absolutely just do not need. The Ten of Wands is in the reverse. Yeah, you don't have any problems. Life is good for you. Six of Pentacles, okay? This person could be saying, you know, I'm going to come give you this. No, they're coming up as a page, okay? You could be getting more information, just spiritual downloads. Child, this person wants to take a leap of faith because they need to. Somebody needs shelter. Somebody needs help. This person could have got evicted. Yeah, I'm telling you. Seven of Cups, illusions, and they're also checking their options out. Okay? Somebody's not looking too good, though. Delusions of grandeur. This person looks like their situation. And whoever this King of Swords, King of Cups is, that's coming from a distance. Yeah, this, this is a, a good union. Four of Wands, this could very well be a high level divine union. The both of you are moving really slow, which I honestly, personally, can I just put in my two cents? I personally admire that, that you're building something very slowly, very maturely to people that are guarded. <laughs> That's beautiful. You know why? Because that means that you, my nose is itching. I know this is the truth. Ooh, wee. My nose is itchy, itchy, itchy. Listen. When two people move towards each other peacefully like that, calmly like that, they both have something of value. They're both guarding their heart. And if you're in right and decent order, you don't have to be concerned about somebody saying, hey, I want to slow down because nine of pentacles, one, is a slow moving energy. Two, it's single as a prinkle and independent energy. It's giving, I would like to be with somebody. I don't need to be with nobody and I don't need no problems. Mr. Problematic, Mr. I need the bills paid, Mr. Shelter, Mr. On the Run. It's a wrap. I don't know what the hell he think he doing. No, you coming up as a temperance angel. There's too much protection around you for somebody to be coming in playing around with you in the, the King of Wands in the reverse, manipulative ass energy, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. This person could have lost their job due to their addictions. And they see you as some really abundant energy. Mm -mm, that person made my ear hurt. Ear hurt and itch. <laughs> I'm scratching my ear. Like, child, you know you crazy. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. I just see this over here and I'm like, mm-mm. Three of swords, they could have gone through some type of separation, breakup. Somebody lost everything. Mm-hmm. They got nothing but endings, endings, fights, confrontations, something they're hiding, a lie, eh, nah. Like the universe is blocking this person. This is the type of person that'll come to your door and they just, for whatever reason, just can't seem to cross your threshold. 
Look, this is all the universe got. This person just stuck. Your answers would be like, mm mm. This person will pass out at the door. Like, no, sir, ma'am, you cannot cross this threshold. It's a no. What's the outcome? Yeah, you got somebody coming in. King of Pentacles. This divine union energy has been coming up a lot. I feel like whoever you are, Empress, Emperor, I think the both of you are just simply focused on your own uh, stability, focused on your own ascension, focused on bettering yourself. And it's just two beautiful people that the universe is just putting together. These are not desperate energies. They're not codependent energy. This is not, I need a place to live type of an energy. You know, it's like, okay, I see you. Oh, hey, I see you. And you're moving towards somebody. So you had two choices, but now you've made your decision with the Ten of Wands. You see this person clearly. You could even have a dream. I feel like your spirit guides are real powerful. Somebody really sits with their spirit team, consults with their spirit team, you know, and you just get answers right on time. Like, it's almost like right when you're about, you know, to make a decision or you really need that decision to come through, it's like your spirit team is right there. Somebody's spirit team is on point. And you respect your higher self. Great intuition. Yeah, you got this king of pentacles, though, coming in. Somebody's stable, and so are you. <laughs> you know, like, okay. Yeah. Mr. Nine of Swords and Seven of Swords, sneaky and deceptive under investigation. Child, this person could be under investigation, going to jail. Somebody got the authorities after them judgment. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they tried to play over the top of you. Yeah, here they go. Coming up as the Queen of Wands. Well, really, they're a King of Wands in the reverse. Shape-shifting energy. This person could be very attractive, you know what I mean? They're a Pisces, though. Clarify what's going on. This person's on the run. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. They're losing money. Because they're spending it on something that they got a bad habit. Four of Pentacles in the reverse is like debt spent. Meanwhile, they're trying to sell you these wolf tickets, you know. Hey, I'm coming in to give you equal give and take. They don't have anything to give to nobody. Nothing. Five of Pentacles in the reverse, they, they see you as an opportunity, a come up. And you know that. Clarify. Yeah, they see you as a come up. The Wheel of Fortune. They like jackpot. Somebody could be, well, you are the Empress. This person is very attracted to you. They're trying to come up as somebody stable. You know, but they're not. They're not. Yeah, you're a temperance angel. You're too protected to be playing around with this mess. Archangel Michael's all over it. Anything else we need to see, Holy Spirit? Yeah. This person wants you to invest in them. This is their goal. This is what they want. What's going to happen with this judgment, though? I can't make it up. Somebody's going to jail. Justice. Whatever this legal investigation is, whatever this legal, you know, mm -hmm, situation is detrimental. Five of Cups. This person's like, I don't know, they're running in circles. They don't have a plan. They don't know where they're going. They don't see this coming. They're isolated. Ten of Swords, yeah. Somebody's down at the bottom. There's, I mean, there's nothing else to have that can happen. There's no further that they can go down to the bottom than they're already at the bottom in the Ten of Swords. Somebody's out, done. Something's not, something's not going to work in their favor. Yeah, the moon. They've been discovered. The moon in the reverse is being exposed. Child, yeah, this person out here selling whoop tickets. And you got the chariot. Child, somebody's going to catch up with this person. So just be mindful. I feel like you already know. I feel like you already caught on. Okay? This could be somebody that you know too. All right? If you're a feminine, this could be another feminine that you know. They're coming up as a queen of wands. Okay? Somebody else could have a lot of fire in their chart. This could be two Pisces too. Don't necessarily have to be. Because somebody is the empress. Taurus energy, Hierophant energy. They're coming up stable. 
But when you're the empress, you're all the signs. I don't know. Let's just take it as it resonates. But you got a real union coming in, four of wands, and that's for sure. You can definitely bet your by golly wah on that. <laughs> bet your by golly wah. Bet your freaking by golly wah. You got a freaking union coming through here, and it's good. I love y'all. This is the message. Take it as it resonates. I hope this was able to help somebody on their journey by way of confirmation, clarification. But I feel like you got things covered. I think if you're watching this reading, you're just getting confirmation. Period. That's just what it is. I love y'all. As I close this door respectfully, I give thanks to the spirit world, the realm of possibilities. I give thanks to the universe for allowing me to tap into this energy and channel it in a way that hopefully it will shed some light in a circumstance where somebody just need needed, excuse me, goodness, get your words out, come on retrograde, where somebody else could have just needed a little bit more to the situation, maybe just to find out what was really going on behind the scenes. Child, this person is a whole fugitive on the run, period. And they got felonies, they got a record, so it's not gonna be hard for somebody to find them they're tired of ripping and running, so yeah, it don't take long for somebody to catch up to them or something to catch up to them or all of the above. But I love you, whoever you are. I send you love and light, and I will absolutely see y'all in the next video. Until then, peace be with you.